Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. Now there are a couple of things I want to check out at the beginning of this episode. The first one is, can we put random items into this dream box to make them show up in our dreams? So, uh, I'm just going to try the ID card to see if that can go in. This card is for library systems only. Okay, so potentially not. That doesn't need a glass eye. No. Okay, so it looks like we can only put specific items into the box. Uh, the second thing I want to try is, can we go to sleep and will the dream progress to tell us what our number is for the Heritage Trust? Because it seems to be suggesting that number's it in our subconscious. It feels nice when I get in and out of bed. Um, so... Maybe going to sleep is the way to do that, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the dream will progress, maybe it won't. We're not going to put the dream box down. Okay, so we're still being chased by whatever this big thing is. Ew, that's really nasty. It is quite nasty, isn't it? Uh, oh, we can't actually use the, the drink. Okay, no. Did not do anything, which is fair enough. So then, considering those two things didn't work out, let's go to the town centre, uh, and then maybe we'll check out the village fate. We've got the town centre first, so I'm thinking we go here first. Ooh. Happy shoppy. <laughs> Does he look happy? Uh, a little bit, I suppose. Mm, I could go for a Cornestra or a Zoom right now. <laughs> Community notices. Missing cat. Last seen by the docks. Mm, okay. Any other Green ones? Boat for sale. Seats too comfortably. All right, let's Have check. Have you seen our owl? Owl. Oh, Lear's Raptor Sanctuary. <laughs> Wanted plush toys for experimentation. Oh, Lloyd. Oh, God. <laughs> it's Lloyd. Figgington taxis. Get out of your dreams and into our cars. Benny Thrill. World's leading Benny Hill impersonator. <laughs> Runs rings around the rest. Very good. Want the latest parish council news? Visit figgington.co.uk. Is that a real website? I'm almost tempted to, to go on to it now. Missing cat. Last seen by the dog. Right, we saw that one. What is all this crap? A record of the local population's most recent junk food intake. Lovely. Someone should probably pick it up. <laughs> Wasp magnet. It's rubbish. There's litter all over the place. Yeah, it's not. It's not very nice, is it? Can we? Can we pick any of the litter up? I'll put it all in the bin where it belongs. No, we can. Oh. <laughs> I like the if sound. If this was a Sierra adventure, I'd at least have got some bloody points for that. True. We don't get points in this game, but there is a penny. Alright, well, we'll grab that. Who knows what that'll be useful for. Let's look at this plaque. Derek O'Rean lived here 1985 to 1885. Hmm. Minus 100 years. Okay. How did he manage that? Oh, what's that? That says Lloyd, doesn't it? Now, what kind of moronic little twerp could have done this? Yeah. I blame the parents. <laughs> can we go into the corner shop? We can. Check this place out. According to the thermostat, it's warmer inside the fridge than it is out here. Pff, sounds about right. Can we get anything out of there? Oh, we can. Bubblegum fruity shooties. Let's look at that. They form part of the magenta food group. Can we get any of that? Why would I want one of these? I don't know. Uh, cork. The nation's favourite cola brand. <laughs> Lovely ironish brew. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> Gin, vodka, and a thermostat. Can we can we get any of this I'm stuff? I'm not thirsty. All right, we're not thirsty. I don't need help getting to sleep now. Ah, so maybe if we need milk later, though. Even with my incredible fake library ID, I might struggle. Yeah, I might do. Anything All in here? All favourites are here. Should we just Mini leave that Malcolm's. open? <laughs> Mini Malcolms. <laughs> I don't need any ice cream. Alright, we don't need any ice cream. Uh, some magazines here. Newspapers. Oh, look at all these. Look, wagon wheelies. Jaffa bakes. <laughs> oh, God, the, uh... The, uh, the... Copyright. Turnip puffs. Oh, look, a twax. Everyone loves a twax, right? We get a twat. I don't need any confectionery. No, Uranus bars. <laughs> Nadbury's hairy milk bars, lovely. Carol Decker bars. Lionel bars. Oh god, all, all the classics that you need are in here. Just load of boxes here. Cola, bubbly, comics. All these sweets, paper bags, licorice all sorts, dolly mixture, jelly snakes, fizzy cola bottles, creature crunch. God, it's got it all in here. 
what more could you want from your shop? Look, it's even crisps with a, <laughs> a legally grey <laughs> logo on there. And then uh, some magazines up here which I, I don't think are suitable for, for Lucy to be reading. Pile of expired drinks. Orange flavour fruity shooties. Ooh. They're well past their expiry date. Can we get an expi- he's Oh, he's not- what, what did she say there? Hang on. Orange flavour fruity shooties. They're well past their expiry date. He's not even looking at them when he prices them up. Yeah. Can we take some of those? These things taste bad enough when they're in date. Alright. There's one there. Uh, can we just talk to this guy then? Hi there. Yo. Uh, how can you do that with your head? Uh, how can you do that with your head? My mum ate too many jelly babies while pregnant. Oh my god. And now I'm super flexible. I'm not sure that's how human development works. Nope. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know about that. No, I guess you wouldn't. Is the Yarp thing a reference to Hot Fuzz? I think it is, isn't it? What are you doing? What are you doing? These bottles have expired. Some are juice in them. What's in the bottles? What's in the bottles? Orange flavoured fruity shooties. These ones are really old, but they've not updated the packaging in years. Same old bottles. Right. How much are you reducing the drinks by? How much are you reducing the drinks by? The boss said to make them 50% off. Is that it? But I think that's way too cheap. So I've set them to 100% off instead. Right, what yeah. What a great initiative. I'm sure your boss will be delighted. Yeah. <laughs> He'd think so. But he says I don't really have a head for business. Yeah, not sure. You don't say. Not sure what gave him that idea. You're a dab hand with that pricing gun. You're a dab hand with that pricing gun. I know, right? I don't even need to look while I do it. Go on then. Bam. Price it up. Bam. Reload. <laughs> Bam. Price it up again. Bam. Reload. Bam. Price it up again. Okay. Bam. Yeah, I get the picture. Yeah, I think we got it, buddy. All without even looking. Oh. Let's hope you never get your hands on a real firearm. <laughs> yeah. Bam! God help us all. Yeah. All right, well, bye. Bye. Catch you later. Doubt it. Can we, <sighs> can we take that? No, we can't. All right, let's talk to this guy. Um, the shopkeeper. Good day, Mr. Shopkeeper, sir. Good day, Mr. Shopkeeper, sir. No, it really isn't. Uh, what's so bad about today? What's so bad about today? Well, let's see now. First, I arrive at work and discover some little git has graffitied my shop. Don't know him. Next, I discover a whole crate of expired products in the back which should have been sold months ago. I then have to spend the entire morning explaining how to use a pricing gun to clint flipping east over there. <laughs> Now an annoying squirt in dungarees is asking me pointless questions hey. and threatening to knock over all my stock with her inexplicably massive pigtails. No, we're not. What can you tell me about the Fig Brothers? What can you tell me about the Fig Brothers? Isn't that a video game? No. I can not. see this isn't going to be one of those quest furthering conversations. <laughs> Maybe you're just not asking the right questions. Right. Okay then, have you got any hints? Yeah, try not to knock anything over with that ridiculous <laughs> hair. Thanks. You're a great help. Yeah, really glad we came in here. Bye. Come again. Odd up. Makes no odds to me. <laughs> All right. Storeroom? Staff only. I'm not allowed in there. Yeah, well, can we... Can we open it? Staff only. I'm not allowed in there. Can we turn this off? I wouldn't want to accidentally make the fridge colder. Yeah, all right. Well, let's go outside. I should probably close the fridge first. Oh, I wanted to leave it open. Ruin that day. Is that guy's day more? That guy's day. More. I don't want to go near the road with a crack like that in it. Oh yeah, there is a big crack there, isn't there? Let's look at this uh, poster. Retrocon. <laughs> Fun times. Yep. Yeah. What's this? Color TV with teletext. Wow. Everyone loved teletext. What what is going on here? She's dismantling a blueberry muffin. Ah, I see. A small human blocks your path. <laughs> Can we talk to this lady? Um, excuse me. Oh, what do you want? Do you know where I can find a statue of Fergus Fig? Do you know where I can find a statue of Fergus Fig? The only statue I know about is at the other end of this street. Hmm, you okay. mean the street you're blocking? Do you see any other streets around here? 
Um, you're dropping blueberries all over the pavement. You're dropping blueberries all over the pavement. Oh no! Call the police. Jeez, the sass. Please, could I get past? Please, could I get past? I am trying to feed an hungry child. Get some perspective. All right. Uh, I'm sure there's room if you just move a bit to your left. I'm sure there's room if you just move a bit to your left. It's a perfectly good road right there. I'd rather not. The council seemed to have installed a rather large <laughs> crack in it. Then I guess you're stuck, aren't you? Apparently so. What are you feeding her? What are you feeding her? She only eats blueberry muffins. Right, okay. Delicious. I've heard blueberries are a superfood. Delicious. I've heard blueberries are a superfood. Yeah. Well, they're super annoying to pick out. <laughs> she only likes the cakey bits. Right. Let's Couldn't see. you just buy a plain muffin and save yeah. yourself the hassle? You don't have a lot of experience negotiating with toddlers, <laughs> do you? It's true. Is it still a blueberry muffin if the blueberries are all over the pavement? Is it still a blueberry muffin if the blueberries are all over the pavement? I didn't say she likes blueberries. Just blueberry muffins. All right, fine. Right, of course, but if you could just see your way to... I ain't moving until she's finished her muffin. Right. How long does that normally last? Her previous record is 80 minutes. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, is there any way to speed things up? Is there any way to speed things up at all? You could be a good citizen and get her a drink. Ah. Huh. What does she like? What does she like? She's two. What do you think? I don't know. Milk? Milk. Do I look like a bleeding cow to you? Uh, she drinks a fruity shooties ah. like any self-respecting toddler. Right. Right. Bubblegum flavour is her favourite. Bubblegum. Naturally. Uh, fine. Bye. <laughs> Whatever. So, well, they sell those in here, right? So, I mean, we've got a penny. I don't know if that's going to work. Procure a drink for a small child. Okay. Is this the bubblegum one? I can't remember what According she actually said. The thermostat. Okay, we don't want to know about the thermostat. What was this one again? They form part of the magenta food group. I think it is this one, isn't it? I'll just take one. Yeah, okay. Whoa, these things are expensive. Oh, are they? Oh, no, we don't want them to be expensive. Unless we can... Hang on. Can we put them in here and get him to, like, reduce them? I wonder if he'll notice. <laughs> nice. Right. 100% off, yeah? Don't mind if I do. 100% off the RRP. Bargain. Eee, right, okay. <laughs> it's lucky we came in here first. Right. Can we have this 100% off? This one's 100% off. Can I take it? Oh, God and Bennett, not again. Fine, take it. Nice. Thanks. All right, easy. We solved that one quite easily. Nice. I was hoping, well, I wasn't hoping, but I was I was thinking that the way this game is, it was going to make us give the expired drink to the kid, but maybe that'd be a, a step too far. Here we go. I found this. What kept you? Now, out my way. Yes. Are you welcome? And I'm... Oops. I don't even know who I'm talking to. She's long gone. I need to stop clicking to interrupt the dialogue. Right. We procured the drink, so now we need to find the statue. The visitor pass I don't think we can do just yet. And the village fate and this are going to be tied together, I think. So... It brings in the village's more classy punters. Yeah, it looks like it. There's a glass here. 568 millilitres of joy. <laughs> no thanks. All right. The ferret's head. I wonder what kind of food one can expect from an establishment like this. Yeah, good question. It says here, beer food. And the pup, what's this? Pow. I'm getting a bit dis... Protect our weasels. Oh. We're totally committed to saving mustelids. <laughs> In my mother's recent sprays, they'll really have their work cut out. Okay. A sort of crap. A treasure trove of stuff other people don't want. Yeah, nice. Uh, so, I, I tell you what, let's let's go down here and have a look at this statue first. Fergus Fig. Oh yeah, it is. This monument was erected to commemorate the founder of Figgington's first and only tourist attraction, Disneyland. This vending machine was relocated from the theme park before the site was redeveloped into one of Figgington's enviable housing estates. The statue yeah. depicts Fergus Fig at the moment of his dignified demise, <laughs> no headless head. and dressed as a ferret. 
This machine must be ten years old now. Okay. It's full of fuzzy duck toys. Fuzzy. They remind me of the ducklings I used to feed in the park. They'd get a whiff of the bread in my pocket and just go into a frenzy. <laughs> Can we... According to the plaque, it's from the old theme park. Okay. There are a load of duck toys still inside, and the coin slot is a funny shape. Ah, I wonder if we can use this. Okay. It only takes theme park tokens. Ah. That's annoying. I was sure that was going to work. Right, so we need a theme park token. There's a plaque in front of it. Fergus Fick. Okay, we, we don't want to this read the plaque. The, the staff, headless. This machine will... Okay, fine. So we're going to need to get a, a, a token from the old theme park. So I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Uh, but oh, it's not appeared on the to-do list. So I'll tell you what, next time we're going to go into both of these shops. Then we'll go to the fate and we'll go from there. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge Hobo and Numinous. And I'll see you next time.